Back to the Sega Mega Drive then with Captain America and the Avengers. And it looks from the title screen like the bad guy is Red Skull, maybe? Who are they? Is that Moon Knight on the left? Iron Man, Captain America, Hawkeye. Red Skull seeks to conquer the world. He has used his... I thought that said health. I think it's wealth. Okay, right. Try to crush his evil scheme. Scene 1. The Avengers. I like, I like the little storyline we've got going here. It's not something you get on every Mega Drive game. So when it's put in, you enjoy it. Of course I've gone with Iron Man. Um, leave it to me. Not quite Robert Downey Jr. this one, of course. Smash, smash, crack. I quite like that, so it's got like comic book phrases as I smash the uh, enemies. Already feels like a pretty standard brawler. This one was from Data East, actually, and is an arcade port for the Mega Drive. I don't, I don't know how close to the arcade this is. I imagine it's fair way behind it, but I've never seen the arcade version to comment. But this came out in 1991, as far as I could tell, and it seems to have been on pretty much everything. It was on, obviously, like I say, it was from the arcade, and then it got ported to Super Nintendo, the Mega Drive, and then some balked versions probably on the Game Gear and the Game Boy, as well as the NES even. So it was on everything. It, it feels fine, straight away. Um, one of those that you're going to have a lot more fun in it. You're in two player, which I'm not. I'm here on my own as Iron Man. So it's not so much uh, Iron Man and the Avengers as. Uh, sorry, Captain America and the Avengers as uh, Iron Man. But it's already more fun than the Avengers game that Square Enix made a couple of years ago, I can tell you that much. Not that that was very hard. I don't know who these guys are. My Marvel knowledge isn't great, you know, if I'm honest. Um, obviously, I watch the movies. Although they themselves have also started to get a lot worse, in my opinion. Did not enjoy the Eternals. And uh, having just watched the first episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Whew! How I wish we were back in sort of 2017, 2018 with... Uh, Infinity War and Endgame, I'll tell you that much. But, be that as it may, this feels okay. It's it's not gonna, it's not blowing me away, but it's okay. You can throw the shield. I like the way you can uh, reach, you know, reselect your character when you die, which will probably be very often. Always the case with games like this, isn't it? That you, you're just dying relentlessly. I don't know if it's unlimited continues. If it's not, I won't be able to finish the game because I never do with these. Music's a bit overbearing. Pretty standard game. But I'll say one thing. Captain America and Iron Man have felt different to play as. Yes, I'm playing just the same button, uh, the set pressing the same buttons, but they feel different. It's not just a, a change-up. There is difference in their abilities and powers, which is what I would hope for, but I never expect. Come back here. Flying fast. Whatever that was. Uh, apparently the arcade version did allow you to play four-player. Which would be fun, that'd be more like sort of TMNT or The Simpsons, or of course the X-Men arcade game, which I think was from Capcom, uh, which is a fantastic game. This isn't on the same level as those, I can tell you that straight away. Who is this guy meant to be? Did I miss reading that? Is he Electro? I don't... I'm not certain. But I admire the game for at least trying to put some story in. You know, you're not just playing, you're not just fighting sort of endless goons here. There are bosses and they are other Marvel villains than just uh, Red Skull. Hawkeye, quite similar to Captain America, just an arrow rather than a shield. 
say, I, uh, I prefer this Hawkeye outfit to uh, Jeremy Renner's black garb. It's a little bit more interesting, isn't it? Is this guy Hawkeye? That's just my assumption. If, if he's not, I apologise. Where are these barrels coming from? It must be just some goon stood in the bushes just lobbing them out. I've no idea who this guy is. I think he's Moon Knight. I might I might be entirely wrong there. I've no idea really. Whirlwind's attack was just a setup, okay, so that guy was Whirlwind. Apparently. It's alright. Other towns are being taken over. Oh, they're only going for towns. Staying out of the city. They're invading Scunthorpe. Target town. Okay, okay. Is, is this Moon Knight? I'm so sorry if it isn't. Please don't correct me. Don't know who else it could be. It looks... It, I don't know. The, kit, the, the picture at the top with the thing on his forehead kind of makes him look like Vision. But is it not a different wrong colour. Why? Oh god! <laughs> I wondered what the hell was happening there. Okay, so it's a... This is cool, so we've got a flying stage now. Kind of like R-Type or Gradius or something. A shmup. Well, Moon Knight does not fly, to my knowledge. So, I think this is Vision. Right? Maybe this is how he's coloured in the comics, as opposed to, you know, the uh, the vision we're used to in the MCU. Well, at least it's given a bit of variation to just blindly going along pressing the A button, as I was. What are these things jumping out of the ship, the robots or... They're all doing that Dalzim spinning attack from Street Fighter 2, I don't really know. <laughs> this Relentless? It's alright, it's absolutely alright, is this? I've played far worse, I've played far better. But no issue there. A little bit repetitive, and there's not a lot of visual visual sort of stimulation on this level. But what's that? What's going on here? Is that uh, the wasp? Because I picked up a W. It must be. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, when even star is flying alongside me. You know, I was just saying it was a bit repetitive, and then it just it just threw that curveball at me of the wasp just appearing. But yeah, it's not the it's not the most exciting of levels this. It uh, didn't quite fulfill the promise that I thought it had when uh, when it first appeared, sadly. Just a bit of a basic game. It's fine, you know, but there's just so many better options on the Mega Drive if you're looking for a brawler. You can, you're almost out of your mind if you elected to play this ahead of the likes of sort of Streets of Rage or Comic Zone or anything of that nature. Golden Axe, you know, Alien Storm. It goes on and on, doesn't it? There's some great brawlers on this platform and... You know, yes, this has the license, but you're fundamentally playing the same type of game. It would be hard to recommend this above those, you have to say. But it's fine. It's not in any way a bad game. It's just incredibly basic. Although I'm quite enjoying this. We're fighting a sentinel as they appeared back in the, uh, the old X-Men cartoon, which is coming back on Disney Plus soon, isn't it? Can't wait for that. Pretty cool, quite like this. You know, uh, the license is used very well here to cover up the failings of the game. Uh, it, it screams Marvel, it's just. It's like Marvel's just vomited over the screen, you know? Game over. There we go. Oh well. 
So there we go, that's Captain America and the Avengers on the Mega Drive. It's absolutely fine, it's pretty much what I expected, it's no better than what I expected. There's far better types of brawler on the system, but uh, if you're a real Marvel nerd and you're looking for a beat-em-up, you can do worse, I'm sure. <laughs>